Hi everyone. So I know a lot of you have asked me how I do the bubble technique and today I'm going to show you how. So hopefully this helps you all to check out what the consistencies are and all of that. So here we go. So I've got blue underglaze. This is what I use to do the dark blue bubbles. And you give it a good shake. to any container I usually use a mug I just thought I'd use a glass thing so that you can actually see <clears throat> now the way this is it's a bit thick so I add a little bit of water to it so see it's really not a lot of water at the top there and then just a squirt of dishwashing liquid any dishwashing liquid really so you just add a squirt to it and that is literally the whole concoction and I usually just mix it up with a straw this is really a super simple technique but it is so effective because all these bubbles always look different and they just give you such a cool effect So see, it's not super runny, but it's not as thick as it was. So I usually say the consistency of fresh cream is quite good. And then all you do is blow into it and let the bubbles drop where you want it to drop. So I'm gonna do the inside and sides first, and then I'm gonna turn it upside down and do the rest. Oh, and use a slow, steady breath. Don't blow too hard because then the bubbles come out small. If you use a slow, steady breath, the bubbles come out different sizes. And to me what's important with this is you want the contrast so if there are spots that don't have bubbles on it it creates a lovely contrast so you can see there there are certain spots that I've left un unbubbled <laughs> and that that really looks so cool once it's glazed fire because you really get that lovely contrast of the bubbles so I'm gonna let all these bubbles pop first before I turn it upside down and then I'll do the bottom and the rest of the sides here and you can also blow on the bubbles to make them pop quicker so see you already get a really good idea of what it's going to look like at the end so this is as you can see tiny little bubbles big big bubbles so it's really nice to get those different sizes of bubbles and that's what you get with a slow steady breath out. <clears throat> so now for the bottom I do the same. Also leave a little piece here and there that's not bubbled. that's it so as soon as this has all popped and dried I used diluted um, gla um, clear glaze over it and so the first the first coats I do is quite diluted just so it doesn't take too much of the blue away and I brush it on and if you do it correctly you'd still get those really clear bubbles if you've got dipping glaze wonderful I don't have dipping clear glaze so that's why I do the brush on but yes, so this is a super effective glazing technique and like, like you can see, it's very easy. 
So I hope you enjoyed and please send me some of the examples that you've done. Cheers.